Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So today, I have for you guys a drugstore haul. Now, all of this stuff has been accumulated over a couple days. Of, like over the span of a week these things have been accumulated most of it I got on sale and so a lot of it is stuff that I've always wanted to try but it was like way too expensive and since it was on sale you know me I snag up things when they're on sale or when I have coupons so we can go ahead and get into this excuse me and a lot of these are new items at the drugstore so not a lot a few <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it starting with like what I always start my face off with okay so going in the order that i do my makeup i will go ahead and start off with brows and you will see a lot of these products in use in my most recent chit chat get ready with me if that's up first i will link it if it's not stay tuned so the first thing that i did to pick up was this elf brow pencil and this is their micro brow pencil and i did go ahead look how that's what the tip looks like and i did go ahead and just pick this up because i really loved their what is it called their retract it's just like the regular retractable brow pencil and that's the weird tip it has like the defining tip and so i'm not really a fan of those but i did like the formula of it so i was like let me try this one out see if it's the same formula see if i like it and i really do i really do love it and so this this is the shade soft brown I haven't tried using this on its own because the next thing I'm about to show you is also new from wet and wild that I have been using to actually fill in because I've only been using the, the pencil to like outline here and here and so and then I go in and I fill it in with their new brow pomade and I have mine in the shade espresso so my brows are so dark <laughs> that's why I got the soft brown pencil and so that's just what that looks like and both of these are very very affordable I will put prices up on the screen and so yeah I'm actually really like both of these products because I have tried them already and like I said you can see these products in action that is another thing that I got and these are things that I picked up from Ulta. I'll tell you, like, all of this so far that I've mentioned, I've gotten from Ulta. The next thing I got was the Wet n Wild, a lot of Wet n Wild in this video. The Wet n Wild Sleep Sleeping Lip Mask, and I got the lavender one just because purple. And I actually don't mind the sense of lavender like I once did. Now, very concentrated like it is right here. It does, like... It sends like a shock to my brain, like, oh, that hurts. And then it like goes away. It doesn't last, but this is super duper thick and I really, really like it. And I have noticed since I bought this, since I've been using it, a huge difference in my lips. I was using Carmex morning and night, not throughout the day. And like my lips would kind of get crusty, but since I've started using this, I still use it only morning and night, not throughout the day. And my lips always feel plump, nice and soft. So this is definitely a good one that I recommend for a lip sleeping mask and it's super duper affordable. Okay, so the next thing going on to eyes, you guys know I always prime my eyes. And they have, e.l.f. came out with a putty eye primer, which I actually really like. And I have mine in the shade Cream. I believe there's either two or three shades of this. I will put it on the screen. And of course, like I said, with prices. And I actually really like this. Now, whenever you first apply it, at least for me, it brings out a whole lot of texture. Like a ton of texture in my eyes on my eyelids but after i set it and let it sit for like a couple seconds like that texture completely goes away yeah so anyways that texture will completely go away and then your eyeshadow looks just smooth and pretty and it lasts a really long time okay and so since we've got primed our eyes i did pick up one eyeshadow palette and this is from iheart everything is still from ulta you guys i will let you know when it's not from ulta i did go ahead and pick up this choco orange I Heart Revolution eyeshadow palette. I thought that it was really pretty because to me, like you do get orangey vibes, but you also get peachy vibes. And I've always wanted to do a pretty peachy eyeshadow look. And I did one last Sunday. I might recreate it for you guys. If you want to see that, let me know. Um, but I did a really pretty peachy look with this eyeshadow palette and it was beautiful. I got so many compliments and it was a simple cut crease like, and then with this and this and this shade. And it was just, oh uh, guys, like I cannot explain to you how pretty it came out and it was really pretty 
peachy and pretty but anyways these are pigmented they last a really long time on the eyelids they are easy to blend easy to work with and yeah i actually like these little things like this because i have the bronzer and highlighter one and now i have this one and then another one that i will show you and yeah i actually like these little things and they're pretty affordable they're only like seven five to seven bucks depending on which ones you get but yeah these are really really good okay another thing that i did pick up and these are the lashes i am wearing right now and these are the kiss blowout lashes and it's shiganon is shiganon um i don't know if that shigon i don't know if that in is silent but this is the style that i got and i really really love it i did pick these up from ulta as well they ran about six dollars which is actually cheaper than at walmart okay so like i was saying these are the lashes that i'm wearing right now i really like them they're easy to apply and these are reusable this is my second time wearing this pair and i'm pretty sure i could get at least five more times out of these if i don't ruin them taking the glue off okay so the next thing i also got that i wanted to try out was this water drop primer from elf wow you don't get a lot of product in here it's literally to right here can y'all see like it's only halfway full i wonder why it's so cheap anyways yeah i got this primer and it, it's the coconut one and i don't know if that's what made my face break out all cray cray or what but something caused my face to break out super duper crazy and i don't know what but it's only this side of my face it's like you see like literally like from here over that side of my face broke out and then like i have a little bit on this side of my chin but that's hormonal yeah i don't know what the heck all of this was but i did notice it happened after i used this okay we're back and we have a little guest he's a little bit fussy so he's not feeling well none of them are really okay so now going in with foundation a foundation that i picked up and i do have this on today i use it in my video because i wanted to use the most current new products like at the drugstore not just new to me and so this is the wet n wild photo focus dewy foundation guys i love this one i i love the original one but i love this one so much more for my skin type over the regular one like i feel like it makes my skin just look so healthy and soft and just oh oh it's just it it's really really pretty i feel like it sits on my skin beautifully throughout the day it doesn't wear off ugly it lasts a really long time i can touch my face and like it won't come off and it won't come off so yeah another foundation that i did pick up because like i said i got it on sale and this is an expensive foundation kind of and so this one is the flower beauty light illusion foundation and i got mine in the shade natural beige and so i did get this from walmart because they were having a sale because i believe flower beauty is not going to be sold at walmart anymore so i was actually able to pick this up for five dollars so i was like well since it's five dollars why the heck not since i had been wanting to try it for so long because i've always heard like nothing but good things about this foundation for people with dry skin so i was super excited to pick this up so check out your local walmart see if they're having a sale on all their flower beauty stuff because they were on at ours on all of our flower beauty stuff so speaking of flower beauty another thing that i was able to pick up was this flower beauty light illusion concealer this one's in the shade light this concealer is absolutely beautiful absolutely hydrating and it's gonna be great for in the summer where i don't need something to mix with my super duper matte concealers or my like it's just i like this concealer is just super duper pretty like i really really like it and i believe i was able to get this for five dollars as well and that was also from walmart okay this i picked up from target and this read um and that is the elf hydrating concealer this is what i have on today i have mine on in the shade medium peach and i'm glad i got medium peach because i was actually going to order it online and get light beige but i saw it at target and i was like well i can save a little bit of money instead of ordering it online and just buy it here at target right now and they didn't have light beige so i was like okay i'm gonna get the next one with my undertones that is light enough and so i got medium peach and i actually really like medium peach because i feel like light beige would have been too light for my personal liking and so i'm really glad that i was able to pick this up i also used this in the video today like i said i'm wearing a lot of these products today okay and then something that's new to me i didn't really see any new like drugstore setting powders 
online or at the drugstore. I didn't see whenever I made the purchase. There may very well be some now, but I did go ahead and pick up, this is always sold out, so this is why I went ahead and snagged it up, is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. I love the way that this makes your makeup look. I love the way that it sits on the face. I love how the smoothing effect that it gives your face. The only thing I don't like is the packaging because there's no way, like, because you have to pour it out into the cap, but there's no way to pour from the cap back into the bottle, if that makes sense. So you just gotta, I just tip this back upside down, put it in the cap, twist it. And so, yeah, but it is a really pretty one. I got that from Ulta, obviously. All Okay, another thing that I picked up from Makeup Revolution is this huge mega bronzer and this is the shade 02 warm they have one that is 01 cool i picked up a warm bronzer because i don't really have a bronzer that's like literally to warm my face and so i wanted something like this this is newer for makeup revolution i really like it it did end up a little bit patchy today but i think that was my fault i don't think i tapped the brush off enough because this side applied perfectly. Now that is a very blendable, very pigmented, going light-handed with it type of bronzer. And if you are any lighter than me, I will recommend, I would recommend 01 Cool, not 02 Warm, because I do have to be very, very light-handed with this. Um, okay, so another thing that I did pick up, and I picked this up at Family Dollar, just because I've always heard people talk about it and how good it was for the price. And this is the highlight and contour, and I got mine in the shade Light Medium from LA Colors. And this was only 75 cents, you guys. So check out your local Family Dollar for this, because this is really good to contour. This is what I actually went in to chisel my face out and contour my nose and my lips and stuff like that. And this is really, really good. Really been really blendable, long lasting, super pigmented so you do have to be careful with that as well because I did go a little bit harsh on this side of my nose with the contouring okay so the next thing I picked up like I said you guys I'm really loving these little like chocolate things so it's I Heart Revolution and this is their peach and glow blush palette so I have the bronzer palette the bronzer and highlight an eyeshadow palette and now I have a blush palette okay so this is a blush that I have on today very pigmented blush so you do have to go in light-handed with it and this is a I want to use this side whenever I am more tan. So whenever summer hits, I do want to use this side. And it's going to be a very beautiful peachy highlight. Like whenever I swatch this, woo! And I would swatch right now, but I got a baby in my hands right here. But boy, this, you know what? We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work so you can see how pretty this peachy highlight is. So this is why I say if I were a little bit deeper, I would love this for a highlight. This would even be really super pretty for an eyeshadow. So yeah, that's super duper pretty. And then I guess I'll go ahead and swatch the highlight in here in the LA girl thing because I was surprised when I swatched this. Yet again, I'll have to be a little bit deeper for this type of golden highlight, but there it is again, really, really pretty, He's super soft. That's why like you can tell like this is kind of broken and I just pushed, was able to push it back into place because it's so soft. Okay, and now the other highlighter palette and I was able to pick this up for $5 as well from Walmart and it was the last one. This shade was broken, but I didn't mind too much because how often do you actually go through a highlighter pan? Mm -hmm. And so I was really excited to pick this up. I will swatch all three of these and that's just what those look like super duper pretty as well and like they're even still on my fingers over here because my swatches were so little and yeah it's still swatching like super pretty so yeah i do recommend this like i said check out your local walmart see if they have their flower beauty products on sale because flower beauty is kind of pricey so i was really excited to be able to pick this stuff up on sale so like i said i did pay five dollars for this as well Okay, let's go into some lip products I just picked up. The one thing that I picked up because I was thinking about like summer and summer colors and how I really like matte lips in the summer, which is weird because most people like them in the fall. But anyways, I did find this Stay Matte Lip Pout from Rimmel London and this is in the shade Rosetto. Rosetto? Oh, scrunchy is the shade. <laughs> so this is the shade scrunchy and it's super duper pretty. I don't have a lipstick this color, but there actually is one from Flower Beauty that I was wanting to try that was this color, but they didn't have the added up, have it at Walmart on sale. So I would have to buy it from Ulta full price. So I was happy that I was able to find it a little bit cheaper, the same type of shade. And so that's that one. And then I did find this Revlon Pump Plumping Lip Cream. I got this for 75 cents at Walmart. So these two are from Walmart because I paid two fifty dollars for because it was on sale as well and so this is what the tube looks like on this i was actually expecting it to have like a sponge or something over it so yeah you gotta squeeze kind of hard because it is literally a cream so it is a little bit thick and then it's just a gloss 
but it's thick and it is pigmented and it's a really pretty color i can't wait for fall to come back around so that way i can wear that because that is a super pretty color i think it would be pretty like with just lip liner and then just with that like oh so pretty okay so i did pick up this and this came in a du duo and this was the flock it duo so i have the shade cypress 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 chill and swan song and this one's an ultra blotted lip and one is a ultra glossy lip so i'm wearing the ultra glossy lip right now so i won't swatch it because this is what it looks like it's pretty nude it does it is like what you see right here in the tube is what you get on your lips but in gloss form and so the next thing is this ultra blotted lip and like i said this is in cypress cypress chill and this is an ultra blotted lip which is super duper pretty and i can't wait to wear this on like more of my natural days so yeah that's a super duper pretty color mm -hmm. and then the last thing that i got was and it was a makeup revolution pro fix setting spray i hadn't tried this and i believe it was a little bit new if i'm not mistaken i might be wrong but i did want to try this mm -hmm. like I, the, the mist is great the product the formula is great mm -hmm. it does make your makeup last but that's excuse me but that smell honey comment down below or thumbs up if your parents ever gave you the red throat spray so if your parents ever gave you the red throat spray let me know because what that tastes like is how this smells and it's you'll have to experience to understand what i'm saying but you know how like if you spray too much hairspray like you can taste it it's like you kind of can taste what hairspray would smell like well how that throat spray tastes is how this would smell it's how this smells and that's the best way that I could describe it. So the smell is a little bit off-putting, but I get past it because the product that in, that's in that bottle is crazy good. And so, yeah, that is it for my drugs, new makeup drugstore haul. I hope that you guys, enjoy, guys enjoyed this video. Remember, be on the lookout if it's not up already. I do have a chit chat. Get ready, me. Get chit chat. Get ready with me using all of these makeup products. Um, this is our little visitor king. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, it's your sweet, sweet love. Say hi. Say hi. He's not feeling well. I did give him some ibuprofen, so his fever is down. His nose is not running because we had some antihistamines. Got a little bit of essential oils going, so our insides are feeling good, huh? So, yeah. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like for me to accumulate more, like even, because I picked up all these, well, except for the Ulta stuff, all the rest I picked up, like one item here, two items here. Like, if you would like for me to start saving it like that, whether it's new or old makeup, like go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more and so does King. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Mwah.